Divine Light Academy and its unique academic excellence and value formation indeed holistic touching lives of more than thousands of learners Divine Light Academy more than four decades of excellence Divine Life Academy virtual commencement exercises is about to begin. We expect that the ceremony will take a while, so sit back and enjoy the commencement exercises. Graduation day is always a day of triumph, for it symbols the part of our educational journey and the commencement of another transformation of man's pursuit for a better life and future. Our institution is grounded by our goal, championing education to enhance distance learning and new platforms. Another mystery unfolds as we come to the end of academic year 2020-2021. The harvest of all the hard work of our graduates in this first ever online distance learning is now. Ladies and gentlemen, with pride and honor, let's welcome Senior High School Class 2021. And to take the center of your screen of our honorees, the graduates of the fourth batch of K-12 program. Please welcome the candidates for graduation from the Accounting and Business Management Strand our future accountants, business entrepreneurs and managers, with their class advisor, Ms. L.D. Acosta. Future educators, social scientists, and humanists from the humanities and social science strand with their class advisors, L.D. Acosta. engineers, but the addition and medical practitioners of our future generation from the science, technology, engineering, and mathematics track, STEM 1, with their class advisor, Mr. John Kenneth Sack.
another group of the 21st century professionals from the science, technology, engineering, and mathematics strand stand to. With them is their class advisor, Ms. Yuaiwai B. Inba. I present to the leading race of this institution for competent and brilliant administrators and faculty members, headed by Engineer Antonio D. Sese, Dr. Yumila D. Sese, and Dr. Milagros A. De La Cruz. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduates who excelled in their academic and extracurricular endeavors, the outstanding students of Batch 2020. This year's pride of the senior high school students, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jerome Justine P. Salazar with high honors. Let us offer our thanksgiving to God Almighty for this momentous occasion. To lead us in our opening prayer are Ms. Kayla Dominic M. Shamsuddin and Ms. Cather Wilbur B. Baldo. Let us put ourselves in the holy presence of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Lord, as we praise and glorify your most holy name, as we stand in awe of your presence, and as we seek you with our hearts on this very special day, we thank you for another successful academic year. Although it may be filled with the struggles brought by the COVID-19 pandemic, we thank you for the guidance and protection you have given us and for the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding you have imparted to each one of us. May you please bless this day and make this both a victorious end and a glorifying beginning as we submit this commencement exercise to you. May you give us graduates the strength, hope, and faith as we continue to walk as children of light and live with the core values of our alma mater. Also, we pray for our dearly beloved school, Divine Light Academy, that molded us to who we are today. Please continue to bless and guide its administration, faculty, and staff as they shape every student according to your word and very perfect will. Likewise, please guide and give every graduate a prosperous future so that we can be of service to our family and our country. Also, we pray for our country, the Philippines, 
as it faces the struggles due to the current COVID-19 pandemic. May you stretch forth your hand on this very nation and heal this land as we place this blessed country in your mighty power. All of these we ask in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Holy Infant Jesus of Rock, bless and protect us always. Jesus, the divine light, shine upon us always. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
yours I'll fear you I read you with the meaning to your love Oh, your love Pai, a irmã Marraça de Natasha Calegari, amigo de Ipa do Paulo Pereira. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Ayang magibig, pero sa sinahanan, alam ng puso sa titik mo'y buhay. Grounded 
and never lose track of where you came from. Stay humble in victory. Learn a lesson from the Pali plant, which stoops lower as it bears more golden grains. May I now take this opportunity to thank the parents of the 61 loyalty awardees who comprise 66% of the graduating class. Our sincere thanks go to you parents for the 10 or more solid years of working together for the pursuit of the DLA vision of promoting the holistic development of your children. We consider it an honor and a privilege for us to have been an integral part in your children's formation and education. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong pagtitiwala. The past academic year was extraordinarily challenging. The word different is simply an understatement to describe our times today. What with the sudden shift we were constrained to adapt to against the normalcy of our lives. What was once a glossy whiteboard in front of the classroom now became a glowing screen in your laptop or your computer you stare at in your home for hours. The buzz of your classmates' morning banter was replaced by the sound of your neighbor counting an incessantly crying baby, a dog barking relentlessly, or the monotony of a nearby house construction. Still, you endured the adjustment and gave your best. You diligently pushed yourselves to finish this school year with such graceful perseverance endowed with a fervor for excellence. My dear graduates, behind any crisis are opportunities waiting to be discovered and appreciated. Adversity produces opportunities and we simply have to be strong enough to face it head on and discover hidden breaks and prospects. But this is no time to give up. Sometimes the situation becomes so difficult it leaves us in a state of disability. But somebody said, you may have a disability, but you are not disabled. The limitations and inconveniences caused by the quarantines have somehow developed our patience, discipline, endurance, and compassion for others, especially those who are in need. But most of all, we were able to discover our remarkable resilience to the challenges of life. We have also become more creative and innovative in our daily struggles. These are just some of the lessons we have had to learn during this crisis. As one man summed it up, looking closely at life, about 20% is what happens to us and 80% is the way we respond to what happens. Let not these critical times discourage you from pursuing your dreams. Continue chasing your dreams fiercely with a strong resolve to succeed. Do your very best in whatever field you will be in and your efforts will be rewarded. I challenge you to keep your idealism and be the righteous persons who will make a difference in the plight of our country. With other young people, you are a strong force who can trigger the elusive progress in the Philippines. Come up with novel ideas to help our countrymen, just like the concept of community pantry. In spite of all the negative comments and criticisms, I personally believe that community pantry embodies the inner goodness of Filipinos. It inspires compassion and trust on the part of the givers and it instills honesty and discipline on the part of the recipients, the needy. We leave it all up to your own ingenuity, creativity and strength of your convictions. Your teachers and I believe that you can do it because you have been trained that way in DLA. We thank you, beloved parents, for entrusting your children's final years of basic education to DLA, despite knowing how tough the times are. 
Your loyalty to DLA really inspired us and spurred us to work harder and exceed your expectations. You, parents, indeed became our indispensable partners in these pandemic times. And for that, we are truly grateful. As the saying goes, we flew the plane while fixing it, and you extended your valuable support along the way. May I likewise acknowledge my thanks to our formidable DLA Senior High School faculty led by two indefatigable leaders, Dr. Milagros de la Cruz, our school principal, and concurrently, the Senior High School Academic Coordinator, and Ms. Marites Verigiano, the level leader. Teachers, you have manifested not only your scholarly competence in teaching, but you have conveyed to your students your sincere and selfless desire to address their needs, not only intellectually, but emotionally as well. You were a great help in their rather difficult journey in senior high school. You provided the crutches and scaffolds at the time they needed it most. Graduates, you will soon log out of our Zoom program to end your senior high school years. In a few months' time, you will be logging back into it with a different email address that bears the name of the college or university you decided to enroll in. Your teachers and I will surely miss you, but we also wish you could have the head spinning excitement of stepping into a brand new environment with brand new buildings, new faces, and experiences. My dear divinians, as you leave your alma mater, baunin ninyo ang aming pagmamahal at lahat ng ibinahagi sa inyo ng inyong mga guro at pamunuan ng DLA. More than the academic excellence, remember the core values of DLA instilled in you. Continue walking as children of light and illumine those who walk in darkness and help make our world a brighter place to live in. Take our blessings with you and may the good Lord always keep all of us in the palm of His loving hand. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Sese, for words which surely guide our graduates as they thread to a new path in their lives. For your messages serve as the light of the road that they will. Our principal, Dr. Lagras de la Cruz, will now present the candidates for graduation. And Dr. Maria B. Sese, our student, will confirm their graduation. Dr. Yunila D. Sese, School Head, Divine Light Academy. With much pleasure, I, Dr. Milagros A. De La Cruz, School Principal and the Senior High School Coordinator, have the honor to present to you our Senior High School Graduating Batch of 2021. Upon the recommendation of their level leader and their teachers, they have successfully completed the requirements of the K-12 curriculum prescribed by the Department of Education and the Enhanced Divine Life Academy curriculum. Seventeen young ladies and gentlemen from the accounting, business, and management strand. Twenty-six young ladies and gentlemen from the humanities and social sciences strand. And 50 young ladies and gentlemen from the science, technology, engineering, and mathematics strand. A total of 93 graduates who are eligible to pursue their college courses. By virtue of the power vested upon me as the school head of Divine Light Academy, 
and upon the recommendation of our school principal for your graduation after having satisfactorily completed the requirements leading to senior high school as prescribed by the Department of Education and Divine Life Academy, I, Dr. Leonila Dizon Sese, on the 7th day of May, 2021, hereby confirm your graduation. Congratulations, Divinians, and carry on! Thank you, Dr. De La Cruz. Thank you, Dr. Sess. After the confirmations and granting of certificates to our graduates, a certificate of graduation is a tangible evidence of being a graduate with a certain level of education. Dear graduates, the moment we have been waiting has finally come. The fruit of hard work and discipline will finally be reaped. Though you will not be holding your diploma physically, at this moment, it will still be the price that symbolizes your accomplishment. To follow up the names of grade 12, Lady and Dexterity, is your class advisor, Ms. L.D. Apostle. Good day, everyone. With distinction and privilege, I present to you the graduates of grade 12 Dexterity class, Accounting, Business, and Management strand. ABM Dexterity Gentlemen Mr. Jose Mikael Capasha Pasible, Loyalty Worthy, Second Semester with Honors Mr. Mark V. Daniel Esteval Bagaporo, Loyalty Worthy Mr. Dave Zedric Penoliar Castillo, Loyalty Worthy, Second Semester with Honors, recipient of Bronze Medal for Academic Excellence Award with honors overall. Mr. Brian Gabriel Sichon de Jesus, Loyalty Awardee, Second Semester with honors. Mr. Isaac Sahol Pascual, Loyalty Awardee. Mr. Ronnie De La Cruz Tuzon, Loyalty Worthy. Mr. Luis Anton Hernandez Velasquez. ABM Dexterity Ladies. Ms. Marielle Angeline Isabel Ramos de Omampo, Loyalty Worthy. Second semester with honors. Recipient of Gold Medal for Exemplary Conduct Award. Ms. Cyril Eve Abelia Enriquez, Loyalty Awardee, Second Semester, with Honors. Ms. Alia Laplana Fuster, Loyalty Awardee, Second Semester, with Honors. Ms. Kathleen Ruth Bida Guevara, Loyalty Worthy, Second Semester, with Honors. Ms. Diane Shane Valencia Luceno, Loyalty Worthy, Second Semester, with Honors. Ms. Isabel Elise Velasco Ocampo, Loyalty Worthy, Second Semester, with Honors. Ms. Bea Karina San Jose Rigaspi, Outstanding Performance in Work Immersion, Second Semester, with High Honors. Ms. Lovely Baldonasa Rillermo, Second Semester, with Honors. Ms. Martel Grace Capio Takai, Loyalty Worthy, Second Semester, with Honors. Ms. Hazel Katrina Santos Vasquez. Congratulations, my beloved ABM Dexterity class. With immense pride and honor, I present to you the graduates of Grade 12 Benevolence class, 
Humanities and Social Sciences Strand. Hume's Benevolence Gentleman. Mr. Jason Earl Strelia Bato, Loyalty Worthy. Mr. Tristan Hernandez Boo, Loyalty Worthy, Second Semester with High Honors, Recipient of Silver Medal for Academic Excellence Award with High Honors Overall. Mr. Cristobal Guevara Chavez, Loyalty Worthy, Second Semester with honors Mr. Ian Diego Miranda Hervasio Mr. Aaron Gabriel Razon Gomez Loyalty Worthy Second Semester with honors Mr. Diego David Munsayak Loyalty Worthy Outstanding Performance in Research Mr. Jerome Justine Polillo Salazar, Loyalty Worthy, Outstanding Performance in Work Immersion, Leadership Worthy, Recipient of Gold Medal for Exemplary Conduct Award, Second Semester with Highest Honors, Recipient of Silver Medal for Academic Excellence Award with High Honors Overall. Mr. Angelo Jose Bonacqua Silva, Loyalty Worthy. Mr. Mark Albert Hamir Tangayan, Second Semester with Honors. Mr. John Paul de Guzman Oreta, Loyalty Worthy, Second Semester with High Honors. Yum's Benevolence Ladies. Miss Maria Angelica Macaraeg Arcilia Miss Bettina Chelsea Panganiban Dairit Loyalty Awardee Second Semester with High Honors Miss Micaela Borja Diaz Miss Daniela Nicole Belarmino Gregorio Loyalty Awardee Outstanding Performance in Research, Second Semester with Highest Honors. Miss Noel Francine Roldan Holy Holy, Loyalty Worthy, Second Semester with High Honors. Miss Nina Ray Ocampo Humacchio. Miss Sofia Noreen Serafico Mugas, Loyalty Worthy, Second Semester with high honors. Miss Shanna Louise Esureña Kyoge, Outstanding Performance in Research. Miss Patricia Espiritu Rudil, Second Semester with Highest Honors, Recipient of Silver Medal for Academic Excellence Award with High Honors Overall. Miss Jamie de Torres Serafico, Loyalty Worthy. Second semester with honors. Miss Elisa Ashley Boyser Show, outstanding performance in research. Second semester with high honors. Miss Jewel Colleen Gallegos Talaver, second semester with honors. Miss Fiona K. Salvilla Tolentino, loyalty worthy. Second semester with high honors. Miss Jamie Eunice Leonardo Unas, loyalty worthy, outstanding performance in research. Second semester with high honors. Recipient of silver medal for academic excellence award with high honors overall. Miss Maria Angela Avenue Venerable, loyalty worthy. Second semester with honors. Congratulations, my beloved Yung's Benevolence Class. Follow the names of Grade 12 Stan One companies. Is it Das Advisor? Is it John Kennedy Sun? Good day, everyone. 
it is my pride and honor to present to you the graduates of STEM 1 Competence. STEM 1 Competence, gentlemen. Mr. Mark Joshua Garlan Adlong, second semester with high honors. Mr. Joshuin Lazaro Cabilitasan, loyalty awardee. Mr. Jose Gabriel Montano Consunhi, Loyalty Awardee, Second Semester with Honors. Mr. Marcos John Fontecha de la Cruz, Loyalty Awardee. Mr. Elgid Neo Chavez Dinsay. Mr. Gregory Noel Palenzuela Donasco. Mr. Benisser Daniel Mabaza Gonzalez. Loyalty Awardee, Second Semester with Honors. Mr. Jerome Aquino Kerr, Loyalty Awardee, Second Semester with High Honors. Recipient of Silver Medal for Academic Excellence Award with High Honors Overall. Mr. Edward Joseph Baluyot Mababang Loob, Loyalty Awardee. Mr. Sean Philip na Luis Olazo, Loyalty Awardee. Mr. Noel Angelo Medina Potenciano, Second Semester with Honors. Mr. Royce Eve Bati Quito, Loyalty Awardee. Second Semester with High Honors. Recipient of Silver Medal for Academic Excellence Award with High Honors Overall. Mr. Alphonse Juanito Tabio Sese, Loyalty Awardee. Mr. Aaron John Gilos Tayag, Loyalty Awardee. Second semester with honors. And Mr. Daniel Josh Espiritu Tesorero, Loyalty Awardee. STEM 1 Competence, Ladies. Ms. Angel Ann Louise Ayamandaya, Loyalty Awardee, Second Semester with Honors. Miss Jana Bernice Samontina Barbacena, Loyalty Awardee, Second Semester with High Honors. Miss Marian Castillo Buenafe, Loyalty Awardee, Second Semester with High Honors. Miss Ross Marie Cassandra Labugin Corpin. Second semester with honors. Miss Hallie Romaine Pereja Frisnedi. Second semester with honors. Miss Eliza Daniela Barber Lipura. Loyalty Awardee. Second semester with high honors. Miss Riz Theana Cruzado Reyes. Loyalty Awardee. Exemplary Conduct Awardee. Second semester with high honors. Miss Aaron Casey De Leon Rico Hermoso, Loyalty Awardee. Second semester with honors. Miss Dolly Rojan Juarez Ruga, Outstanding Performance in Work Immersion. Second semester with high honors. Recipient of Bronze Medal for Academic Excellence Award with honors. Overall, Ms. Rodea Angel Mendoza Sobrino, Ms. Kayla Dominic Mendiola Shamsudin, Loyalty Awardee, Second Semester with High Honors, Recipient of Silver Medal for Academic Excellence Award with High Honors Overall, and Ms. Andrea Julian Tan, Second Semester with Honors. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. It's my pride and honor to present to you my beloved class of STEM2 Authenticity. STEM2 Authenticity, young gentlemen. Mr. Aldrin Isaac de la Cruz Baltazar. 
Loyalty Awardee, Second Semester with Honors. Mr. Charles Louis Barcelona, Second Semester with Honors. Mr. Neil Paulo Mercado Buenaventura, Loyalty Awardee. Mr. John Andre Demopolis Castillo, Second Semester with Honors. Mr. Ryan Joshua Balburias de la Rea, Second Semester with Honors. Mr. Steve Myron Rivera Inghob, Second Semester with Honors. Mr. Benazir David Mabaza Gonzalez, Loyalty Awardee. Mr. Takatsuna Vicente Nuzake. Mr. Jules Theodore Dampayla Nunez, Second Semester with Honors. Mr. Leon Gabriel Concha Pavino, Loyalty Awardee, Second Semester with Honors. Mr. Matthew Gabriel Augustine Cordenera Santos, Second Semester with Honors. Mr. Carlos John Floresta Tungal. Mr. Luis Miguel Plana Chiabot, Loyalty Awardee, Second Semester with Honors. STEM 2 Authenticity, Young Ladies, Ms. Cather Wilvier Brigoli Baldovi, Loyalty Awardee, Second Semester with High Honors, Ms. Jan Denise Robles Vasconcillo, Loyalty Awardee, Ms. Katrina Arlene Rivera Hidalgo, Loyalty Awardee, Second Semester with Honors, Ms. Jonah Cassandra Conega Lim, Loyalty Awardee, Second Semester with High Honors, Recipient of Bronze Medal for Academic Excellence Award with Honors Overall, Ms. Maria Zofia Abel Lopez, Loyalty Awardee, Ms. Eliza Kathleen Denise Chang Navarro, Loyalty Awardee, Exemplary Conduct Awardee, Second Semester with Highest Honors, Recipient of Silver Medal for Academic Excellence Award with high honors overall. Ms. Jerica Rodriguez Ortega. Ms. J. Gabriel Villas Pataxil, Loyalty Awardee, Second Semester with high honors. Ms. Mary Luani Uraa Ruales, Loyalty Awardee, Second Semester with honors. Ms. Elisha Joy Rocky Sundia. Loyalty Awardee, Second Semester with High Honors, Recipient of Bronze Medal for Academic Excellence Award with Honors Overall. My congratulations to all. We will also pay tribute to our students who displayed loyalty to their family. Loyalty awards are given to students who started studying at the Bible Academy from grade 7 until grade 4. The Loyalty Award is of Class ADM and Youth Gentlemen. Loyalty Award is of ADM Dexterity, Dexterity Gentlemen. Mr. Jose Micael C. Apasible. Mr. Mark V. Dinil E. Bagaporo Mr. Dave Cedric P. Castillo Mr. Brian Gabriel S. De Jesus Mr. Isaac S. Pascual Mr. Ronnie D.C. Tuzon ABM Dexterity Ladies Miss Mariel Angeline Isabel R. Diumampo Miss Cyril Eve A. Enriquez Miss Alia Rebecca Antoinette L. Fuster
Miss Kathleen Ruth V. Guevara. Miss Diane Shane V. Luceno. Miss Isabel Elise V. Ocampo. Miss Myrtle Grace C. Takay. Loyalty Awardees of Hume's Benevolence Gentlemen Mr. Jason Earl E. Bato Mr. Tristan Gabriel H. Book Mr. Cristobal G. Chavez Mr. Aaron Gabriel R. Gomez Mr. Jego Antonio D. Monsayak Mr. Jerome Justin P. Salazar Mr. Angelo Jose B. Silva Mr. John Paul D. G. Ureta Hume's Benevolence Ladies Miss Bettina Chelsea P. Dairit Miss Daniela Nicole B. Gregorio Miss Noel Francine R. Hole Hole Miss Sofia Noreen S. Mugas Miss Jamilyn D. T. Serafico Miss Fiona K. S. Tolentino Miss Jamie Eunice L. Unas Miss Maria Angela A. Venerable STEM 1 Competence Loyalty Awardees, Gentlemen Mr. Joshwin L. Kabilitasan Mr. Jose Gabriel M. Consunhi Mr. Marcus John F. De La Cruz Mr. Benister Daniel M. Gonzalez Mr. Jerome A. Kerr Mr. Edward Joseph B. Mababang Loob Mr. Sean Philip N. Olazo Mr. Royce Eve B. Quito Mr. Alphonse Juanito T. Sese Mr. Aaron John G. Tayag Mr. Daniel Josh E. Tesorero STEM 1 Competence Ladies Miss Angel Ann Luis A. Andaya Miss Jana Bernice S. Barbacena Miss Marian C. Buenafe Miss Eliza Daniela B. Lipura Miss Ruiz Tayana C. Reyes Miss Aaron K. C. D. L. Rico Hermoso 
Ms. Kayla Dominic M. Shamsudin. STEM to Authenticity Loyalty Awardees. Gentlemen, Mr. Aldrin Isaac D.C. Baltazar, Mr. Neil Paulo M. Buenaventura, Mr. Benisser David M. Gonzalez. Mr. Leon Gabriel C. Pavino. Mr. Luis Miguel P. Yabot. Authenticity Ladies Miss Cather Wilvier B. Baldovi Miss John Denise Arbas Concilio Miss Katrina Arlene R. Hidalgo Miss Joanna Cassandra C. Lim Miss Maria Sofia A. Lopez Miss Eliza Caitlin Denise C. Navarro Miss Dre Gabriel V. Pataxil Miss Mary Luani Oroales Miss Elisha Joy R. Sundiam It is said that the quality of a person's life is directly proportional to his or her commitment to excellence regardless of the chosen field of endeavor. We now come to the most awaited part of the ceremony, the recognition of students who found the name for themselves by showing exemplary skills and perseverance to excel in their students. Ladies and gentlemen, the honors of Batch 2021 to present the academic awards and special awards is his best Benijana, the senior high school level leader. And virtually congratulating and granting your medals of engineer and Dr. Sese and Dr. Milagros Delos. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today is the day that the awardees will receive the fruits of their labors for their two years in senior high school. As the level leader of the senior high school department of Divine Light Academy Las Piñas, it is my great pride and honor to present to you the outstanding lineup of students whose exceptional proficiency in the academic field shall be given the highest achievement of commendations. Divine Light Academy, an institution that cultivates both the intellectual potential and defines the human character of its students, shall be giving the gold medal of citation to our conduct awardees. The Conduct Award is given to students who have demonstrated exemplary conduct throughout the academic year. A gold medal is awarded to the daughter of Mr. Erwin Jumampo and Mrs. Carmela Jumampo. Join me in welcoming the Exemplary Conduct Awardee of ABM Dexterity, Miss Marielle Angeline Isabel Ramos Jumampo. 
let us welcome the Exemplary Conduct Awardee of the Humes Benevolence Class. He is the child of Mr. Jomar Salazar and Mrs. Marilyn P. Salazar. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jerome Justin Polilo Salazar. For the STEM 1 Competence Class Conduct Awardee is the daughter of Mrs. Raquel Reyes. Join me in welcoming Ms. Ruiz Teyana Cruzado Reyes. Another gold medal of exemplary conduct is awarded to the daughter of Mr. Don Manolo Navarro and Mrs. Dorothy Navarro. Let us welcome the best in conduct of STEM 2 Authenticity class, Ms. Eliza Caitlin Denise Chang Navarro. Our leadership awardee has dutifully performed his tasks and held responsible with a sense of dignity and respect from his batchmates. He was the Senior High School Student Council President for two years, Palaro Chairman, and spearheaded the SHSE Tournament. He is also a dependable class president. He takes the lead in projects, involves and inspires his team through his hands-on approach. He leads by example and enjoys delegating tasks to give a sense of achievement and pride to everyone involved in any undertaking. Let us give a hand to our leadership awardee, Mr. Jerome Justin P. Salazar, Mr. Jomar B. Salazar, and Mrs. Marilyn P. Salazar, parents. To prepare the senior high school students for the world of work in the 21st century, they are required to complete an 80-hour work immersion in an established work environment. This year, we shall award three students to excel in this area. Awards for work immersion are given to students who exemplify outstanding performance based on the terms or engagement set by the school and the evaluation of the direct supervisor from our industry partner, Creotech Philippines. They will receive a gold medal from Creotech and a certificate of recognition. Ladies and gentlemen, our best in work immersion. For the ABM Strand, Ms. Bea Karina San Jose Regaspi, Mr. Romeo Regaspi Jr. and Mrs. Mercedita Regaspi, parents. For the Hume Strand, Mr. Jerome Justin Polilo Salazar, Mr. Jomar Salazar and Mrs. Marilyn Salazar, parents. For the STEM Strand, our best in work immersion is Ms. Dolly Rogin Juarez Ruga, Mr. Roderick Ruga, and Mrs. Jeanette Ruga, parents. The best in thesis writing had created a very timely and significant research study in which the findings contributed as a form of evaluation to the institution's venture to online distance learning and be the basis in providing more efficient and effective educational services to the students. They received the highest scores with commendable feedback from the panelists. Ladies and gentlemen, our best in thesis writing. Ms. Jamie Eunice L. Unas, Mr. Ferdinand D. Unas, and Mrs. Maria Eloisa L. Unas, parents. Ms. Daniela Nicole B. Gregorio, Engineer Rolando C. Gregorio and Mrs. Maria Adelpha B. Gregorio, parents. Ms. Elisa Ashley B. Shaw, Mr. Raymond Shaw and Mrs. Mary Jane Shaw, parents. Ms. Shana Louise E. Kyoge, Ms. Michelle Kyoge, parent. Mr. Jego Antonio D. Munsayak, Ms. Zara Munsayak, parent. In response to Ambassador Yuchenko's call to instill national discipline in the country's youth, the AY Foundation established the National Discipline Award. 
This award aims to give recognition to graduating senior high school students who consistently exemplify the virtue of discipline in school and in the community. Divine Light Academy is proud to present our awardee, Mr. Jerome Justin Polilio Salazar, who will be receiving a gold medal from AY Foundation and 7500 worth of cash prize. Mr. Jomar B. Salazar and Mrs. Mar Marilyn P. Salazar, parents. This year's selection of top students has been screened based upon the directives of the Department of Education with the keen compliance upon our school guidelines in line with the DLA set of scholastic standard. Divine Light Academy, the most awaited awards for academic excellence. Let us welcome the top students of this batch. ABM Strand Academic Excellence Award for the second semester is given to Mr. Jose Micael C. Apasible, Bronze Medalist for Academic Excellence with Honors, Mr. Ismael B. Apasible and Mrs. Cecilia C. Apasible, Parents, Mr. Dave Cedric P. Castillo, Mr. Joselito Castillo and Mrs. Emeline Penuliar, Parents, Mr. Brian Gabriel S. De Jesus, with honors. Mr. Ariel De Jesus and Mrs. Concepcion De Jesus, parents. Miss Mariel Angeline Isabel R. Dumampo, with honors. Mr. Erwin Dumampo and Miss Carmela Dumampo, parents. Miss Cyril Eve A. Enriquez, with honors. Mr. Ariel Enriquez and Mrs. Maria Cristina Enriquez, parents. Alia Rebecca Antoinette L. Fuster, with honors. Mr. Hetulio Fuster III and Miss Joan Vanessa Fuster, parents. Miss Kathleen Ruth V. Guevara, with honors. Mr. Ruther Uy Guevara and Miss Mylene Guevara, parents. Miss Diane Shane V. Luceno, with honors. Engineer Demosthenes G. Luceno and Mrs. Teresita Luceno, parents. Miss Isabel Elise V. Ocampo, with honors. Mr. Jason Edward Ocampo and Miss Gladys V. Ocampo, parents. Miss Lovely B. Reliermo, with honors. Mr. Ronilo Reliermo and Miss Edna Reliermo, parents. Miss Myrtle Grace C. Takay, with honors. Mr. Gary Takay and Miss Teresa Takay, parents. Miss Bea Karina S. Regaspi, silver medalist for academic excellence with high honors. Mr. Romeo N. Regaspi Jr. and Mrs. Mercedita Regaspi, parents. Hume Strand Academic Excellence Award for the second semester is given to Mr. Cristobal G. Chavez, Bronze Medalist for Academic Excellence with Honors, Mr. Lauro L. Chavez and Mrs. Maria Teresa G. Chavez, Parents, Mr. Aaron Gabriel R. Gomez with Honors, Engineer Virgilio S. Gomez and Mrs. Rosemary Gomez, Parents, Miss Jamilyn D.T. Serafico, with honors. Mr. Melencio Serafico and Mrs. Jasmine Serafico, parents. Miss Jewel Colin G. Talaver, with honors. Engineer Alfredo Talaver and Miss Maricar Talaver, parents. Mr. Mark Albert J. Tangayan, with honors. Mr. Alan Tangayan and Miss Maricel Tangayan, parents. Miss Maria Angela A. Venerable, with honors. Mr. Noriel R. Venerable and Miss Maria Sherilyn Venerable, parents. Mr. Tristan Gabriel H. Book, silver medalist for academic excellence with high honors. Mr. Jardine Book and Mrs. Christine Book, Parents, Miss Bettina Chelsea P. Dairit, with high honors. 
Mr. Aristotel Dairit and Mrs. Christine Dairit, parents. Miss Noel Francine R. Hole Hole, with high honors. Mr. Agapito Jose Paulo Flor and Mrs. Maria Gaudiosa Hole Hole, parents. Miss Sofia Noreen S. Mugas, with high honors. Mr. Ray M. Mugas and Mrs. Noraida Mugas, parents. Miss Elisa Ashley Shaw, with high honors. Mr. Raymond Shaw and Mrs. Mary Jane Shaw, parents. Miss Fiona K. S. Tolentino, with high honors. Mr. Johnny Wendell Tolentino and Mrs. Gwendolyn Tolentino, parents. Miss Jamie Eunice L. Unas, with high honors. Mr. Ferdinand Unas and Mrs. Maria Eloisa Unas, parents. Mr. John Paul D.G. Oreta, with high honors. Mr. Darwin Oreta and Mrs. Angelita Oreta, parents. Miss Daniela Nicole B. Gregorio, gold medalist for academic excellence with highest honors. Engineer Rolando C. Gregorio and Mrs. Adelpha Gregorio, parents. Miss Patricia E. Rodil, gold medalist for academic excellence with highest honors. Mr. Joselito Rodil and Mrs. Irene Rodil, parents. Mr. Jerome Justin P. Salazar, gold medalist for academic excellence with highest honors. Mr. Jomar B. Salazar and Mrs. Marilyn P. Salazar, parents. STEM 1 Competence Academic Excellence Award for the second semester is given to Miss Angel Ann Louise A. Andaya, bronze medalist for academic excellence with honors. Mr. Louis Andaya and Mrs. Pilar Andaya, parents. Mr. Jose Gabriel M. Consunhi, with honors. Mr. Jose Jeronimo Consunhi and Mrs. Elizabeth M. Consunhi, parents. Miss Rosemarie Cassandra L. Corpin, with honors. Dr. Aldrin G. Corpin and Mrs. Rachel L. Corpin, parents. Miss Halle Romaine P. Frisnedi, with honors. Mr. Romil M. Frisnedi and Mrs. Ariza P. Frisnedi, parents. Mr. Benizer Daniel M. Gonzalez, with honors. Mr. Benizer G. Gonzalez and Dr. Violeta M. Gonzalez, parents. Mr. Noel Angelo M. Potenciano, with honors. Mr. Noel V. Potenciano and Mrs. Cynthia M. Potenciano, parents. Ms. Aaron K. C. D. L. Rico Hermoso, with honors. Mr. Marlon M. Rico Hermoso and Ms. Yasmin D. L. Rico Hermoso, parents. Ms. Andrea Julian Tan, with honors. Ms. Azucena Y. Tan, parent. Mr. Aaron John G. Tayag, with honors. Architect Marlon I. Tayag and Architect Rizalyn G. Tayag, parents. Mr. Mark Joshua G. Adlong, silver medalist for academic excellence with high honors. Engineer Marcelino M. Adlong Jr. and Mrs. Maria Jeneline Adlong, parents. Ms. Jana Bernice S. Barbacena, with high honors. Mr. Mike L. Barbacena and Mrs. Aline S. Barbacena, parents. Ms. Marian C. Buenafe, with high honors. Mr. Carlos C. Uy and Mrs. Susan C. Buenafe, parents. Mr. Jerome A. Kerr, with high honors. Mr. Kerr Chi Kyung and Mrs. Chodora A. Kerr, parents. Miss Eliza Daniela B. Lipura, with high honors. Miss Maria Hawaii B. Lipura, parent. Mr. Royce Eve B. Quito, with high honors. Mr. Roy S. Quito and Mrs. Edeline B. Quito, parents. 
Miss Ruiz Tayana C. Reyes with high honors. Miss Raquel C. Reyes, parent. Miss Dali Rogin J. Ruga with high honors. Mr. Roderick C. Ruga and Mrs. Jeanette J. Ruga, parents. Miss Kayla Dominic M. Shamsudin with high honors. Dr. Dadang Effendi Shamsudin and Mrs. Jean M. Shamsudin, parents. STEM 2 Authenticity Academic Excellence Award for the second semester is given to Mr. Aldrin Isaac D.C. Baltazar, Bronze Medalist for Academic Excellence with Honors, Mr. Alan C. Dainla and Ms. Angelita Baltazar, Parents. Mr. Charles Louis Barcelona, with Honors, Mr. Gerald Ramos and Ms. Cheryl P. Barcelona, Parents. Mr. John Andre D. Castillo, with Honors, Captain Alan G. Castillo and Ms. Mylene Castillo, Parents. Mr. Ryan Joshua B. De La Rea, with honors. Mr. Isamel M. De La Rea and Ms. Imelda B. De La Rea, parents. Mr. Steve Myron Enghog, with honors. Mr. Michael Enghog and Ms. Sharon Leia Enghog, parents. Ms. Katrina Arlene R. Hidalgo, with honors. Mr. Alexander F. Hidalgo and Ms. Charlotte R. Hidalgo, parents. Mr. Jules Theodore D. Nunez, with honors. Engineer Richard D. Nunez and Ms. Teresita D. Nunez, parents. Mr. Leon Gabriel C. Pavino, with honors. Mr. Mauricio Pavino and Ms. Jacel C. Pavino, parents. Ms. Mary Luani O. Rowales, with honors. Mr. Efren M. Rowales, parent. Mr. Matthew Gabriel Agustin C. Santos, with honors. Mr. Marco Antonio Angelo S. Santos and Ms. Regina C. Santos, parents. Mr. Luis Miguel P. Yabut, with honors. Ms. Angela Yabut, parent. Ms. Cather Wilvere B. Baldovi, Silver Medalist for Academic Excellence with High Honors, Engineer Wilson E. Baldovi and Ms. Elvira B. Baldovi, Parents. Ms. Jonah Cassandra C. Lim with High Honors, Mr. Joseph Lim Jr. and Ms. Havita Lim, Parents. Ms. Dre Gabriel V. Pataxil with high honors. Mr. Darwin Pataxil and Ms. Pamela Pataxil, parents. Ms. Elisha Joy R. Sundiam with high honors. Captain Alejandro Sundiam Jr. and Ms. Rodely Sundiam, parents. Ms. Eliza Caitlin Denise C. Navarro. Gold Medalist for Academic Excellence with Highest Honors, Mr. Don Manolo Navarro and Ms. Dorothy Navarro, Parents. Ms. Elisha Joy Ruque Sundiam, Bronze Medalist for Academic Excellence with Honors Overall, Captain Alejandro Sundiam Jr. and Ms. Rodely Sundiam, parents. Mr. Dave Zedrick Penuliar Castillo, bronze medalist for academic excellence with honors overall. Mr. Joselito Castillo and Ms. Emeline Penuliar, parents. Ms. Jonna Cassandra Conega Lim, bronze medalist for academic excellence with honors overall. Mr. Joseph Lim Jr. and Ms. Havita Lim, parents. Ms. Dali Rogin Juarez Ruga, bronze medalist for academic excellence with honors overall. Mr. Roderick Ruga and Ms. Jeanette Ruga, parents. Mr. Royce Eve Bati Quito, silver medalist for academic excellence with high honors overall. 
Mr. Roy Quito and Ms. Edeline Quito, parents. Ms. Patricia Espiritu Rodil, Silver Medalist for Academic Excellence with High Honors Overall, Mr. Joselito Rodil and Ms. Irene Rodil, parents. Mr. Tristan Gabriel Hernandez Book, Silver Medalist for Academic Excellence with High Honors Overall, Mr. Jardine Book and Ms. Christine Book, parents. Mr. Jerome Aquino Kerr, Silver Medalist for Academic Excellence with High Honors Overall, Mr. Kerr Chi Kyung and Ms. Chadora Kerr, parents. Ms. Jamie Eunice Leonardo Unas, Silver Medalist for Academic Excellence with High Honors Overall, Mr. James Ferdinand Unas and Ms. Maria Eloisa Unas, parents. Ms. Kayla Dominic Menjola Shamsudin, Silver Medalist for Academic Excellence with High Honors, Dr. Dadang Effendi Shamsudin and Ms. Jean M. Shamsudin, parents. Ms. Eliza Caitlin Denise Chang Navarro, Silver Medalist for Academic Excellence with High Honors Overall, Mr. Don Manolo M. Navarro and Ms. Dorothy Navarro, parents. And the student who has the highest general grade point average is the son of Mr. Jomar B. Salazar and Mrs. Marilyn P. Salazar. Let us give a hand to the pride of the humanities and social sciences strand, Mr. Jerome Justin Polilio Salazar. My congratulations to all the awardees and the proud parents. And to this batch, you are moving on to a new and exciting chapter in your life. I wish you more success in all your endeavors. May God bless you all. Soar high and keep dreaming. Again, congratulations. Congratulations once again to all the awardees for your excellent performance and achievement. The person who garnered high honors will now share the success story to you. To inspire you to reach your goals and feel free about your future. Please welcome the graduate who earned the highest general grade point average, Mr. Jerome Justine P. Salasal. Sabi nga ni nanay, para sa'yo, para sa'yo. Ibibigay yan kung para talaga sa'yo. And now, I finally believe that this was really best for me. School Head Dr. Leonine Dicese, Administrative Head Engineer Antonio Dicese, School Principal and Senior High School Coordinator Dr. Milagros A. De La Cruz, Administrators, Faculty, Staff, Honor Guests, Family, Friends, and most importantly, to the graduating batch of 2020. A blessed afternoon to all. Magandang hapon sa inyong lahat. William Shakespeare once said, Some are born great. Some achieve greatness. And some have greatness trust upon them. In our lives, we can always rely on being born great or having greatness trust upon us. I didn't start as how I wanted myself to be. Hindi naging madali anuman ang napagtagumpayan ko. Marahil ang inaasahan ko sa sarili ko ay iba sa kaya ko lamang gawin bilang isang mag-aaral at isang tao. Kalakip ng bawat medalya ay limpak-limpak ng buhat at bawis sa dumaloy. My family, friends, and loved ones witnessed how I pushed myself to the limits just to meet the ideals I set for myself. Is this what I truly deserve? This question kept lingering in my mind for the past 12 years I studied at Divine Light Academy, one of the most prestigious academies in the Philippines. I barely even know how to study at all. I failed exams and performance tasks and cried while studying for a 20-page long pointers just for a quiz and even had a zero score in a math test when I was in 7th grade. But you know what? These lapses had become the strong points I hold on even up to this day. Failure is indeed inevitable 
and innate to us humans. We can't be perfect as how we wanted ourselves to be. We can't get all what we wanted just because we deserve it. Para sa yo, para sa yun. A perfect reminder of how many times na nai remind me of you. Anak, hindi man para sa iyan, may nakalaan para sa iyo sa inyong pumasa. After those six challenging years during my high school journey, here it is, in front of a camera being watched of by hundreds of audiences, I am finally addressing my fellow graduates and our loved ones. Saksi ang aking pamilya, mga malalapit na kaibigan, at mga mahal sa buhay kung gaano ko gusto makiuna. As they call me pabibo, I acknowledge it. And I know in myself how desperate I am in a good way to achieve this. JJ, tulog mo parang recess na lang ata. Magpahinga ka naman buong libro yata memorize mo na. Kung hindi ka kumakain o natutulog, nag-aaral ka naman. Laptop mo bumibigay na, magpahinga mo. Pagpahingin mo naman na. I can't help but reminisce about these words of encouragement. Yes, it is encouragement. These words are vital to how I persevered and worked hard to attain this achievement. However, without these people who became my pillars and homes, nothing of this is possible. First, to my second parents in school, the senior high school faculty, Ms. Lani, Ms. Ting, Ms. Elvi, Sir JJ, Ms. Elise, Sir Dean, Ms. Joy, Ms. Anna, and Ms. S. Maraming 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 salamat po sa bawat kaalamang ibinahagi ninyo sa amin. The wisdom and knowledge you have imparted in our lives will become the stronghold information of the future ahead of us. It was definitely difficult to adjust to the new normal but we still provided us the quality education we all wanted and deserved to have. Sir JJ and Miss Anna, ito na po yun. Sa wakas, sabi niyo nga po, kakayanin ko po. Ngayon, kinaya ko po at mas lalo ko po kung kakayanin lahat ng ibabato o anuman ang ibabato sa akin sa kulay. My dear advisors have always been one of my top supporters since day one. My leadership and intelligence are home how it is right now because of them, my mentors. Ms. Tess, our senior high school level leader, thank you for the support you've always given me, especially your assistance in everything I do for the senior high school. Those projects would be ineffective and unsuccessful if it weren't for your efforts and support. Maraming maraming salamat po ma. Second, to my friends, this segment of my address is the part you all anticipated for. And it's, it is only rightful that you all take part in credit of this personal achievement. To Maishu, Simon, Sadang, Tristan, Bell, Dave, Aldrin, Brian, Ariana, Joan, and JD, thank you for keeping me sane throughout the lockdown. I may have experienced one of the lowest points of my life during this pandemic year but thanks to all the messages and laughters we all shared together, I provided myself the break I needed. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyo at makikita pa tayo sa susunod at tatambay kina Simon hanggang gabi. JJ not the best. Dalawang taon pa lamang magsimula tayo maging isang grupo. Pero masasabi ko na nakahanap ako ng isang pamilya sa inyo. Isa kayo sa mga naging tahanan ko sa simula pa lamang lakbay na ito at nararapat lamang din na isa kayo sa mga babalikan ko ngayong may napagtagot pa rin. To Jamie, Noreen, Jeannie, Tristan, Daniela, and Fiona, congratulations to us, Evan. We all had the medals we all worked hard for and these, my achievements, are also your achievements. Mahal na mahal ko kayong anim at to my significant friends from the STEM strand, most especially to Jerome, Aya, and Royce. We may never have the consistent talks with each other, but if there are chances to spare and time to spare, we surely take 
all opportunities to be there for one another. Lagit laging nandito lang ako sa tuwing kailangan ninyo ng masasandalan at mapagkukwentuhan ng bawat tagumpay at tumigod. To my ever supportive humes, this is it. We already graduated. We already ripped what we saw for two years. And I can't even be prouder of our collective achievements as a class. As UM students, we are about to face and enter the world of pervasive judgment. And we are not only expected to solve these issues in the future, but also bring forth solace and hope into hopeless hearts and minds. I am certain that even if we bid farewell right now to each other, we will soon meet again and reminisce about the past we all shared together. Mahal na mahal ko kayong lahat, Yums. Mamimiss ko bawat kalokohan at kwenti trip na ginagawa ninyo sa akin, mapa physical classes man o online classes yan. Lalo't lalo na yung apat na chat heads na puro pagmumukha ko lang ang nakikita ng lahat. To our batch salutatorian, Eliza Navarro or Routine as how we call her, God knows how hard we fought for this. This success would never be possible if you weren't by my side and won't call away if I am mean in your help, both academically and mentally. You witnessed my lowest point, and it is only just that I also acknowledge you in one of the big points of my life. Even before we are the top two graduates of this batch, we have been best friends since fourth grade. Patunay lamang na ang pagkakaibigan natin ay matatag at patuloy na magtatagal hanggang sa ating patunga. To our next journeys with each other, Bumi, congratulations to us both. To my siblings, Liana and Kuya Matt, maraming beses man tayo nag-away ngayong pandemya dahil sa hindi pagkakaintindihan, hindi tukmang mga schedule sa pagliling sa bahay, sa pagtulong kinananay at tatay. Pero natitiyak ko na sa bawat problema at bawat uh, bawat problema ang kinaharap natin ng magkakapatid. Natitiyak ko pa rin na naging matagumpay tayo sa pagtawid ng lahat ng responsibilidad natin bilang isang estudyante at isang, bilang isang anak, kila nanay at tatay. And to my younger sister, Liana, Congratulations, graduate na tayo at pares pa tayong may honors. Mahal na mahal ko kayong dalawa. Nay, kay, ito na po yun. Tanda ko pa po yung pakiramdam ninyo nung minivideohan ninyo si Kuya Matt. Apat na taon na yun ang daan nung nakapag-speech din siya. Iba yung ligaya ninyo habang pinapanood niyo siya, minivideohan, kipuhanan ng retrato at pinapakinggan habang kasalita. Kaya ito po ako ngayon, hindi po ako nagpatalo. I have always reminded myself how persistent we were both in orienting and training me that these efforts I show every time will soon bear favorable results. My achievements are indeed integral to my success and without your consistent reminders and unconditional support, none of this will be possible. Maraming salamat, Nay at Tay, at mahal na mahal po po kayo higit pa sa kayang sakit ng bibito araw-araw. And lastly, to the one about you, I owe you all this success. After all, not only wisdom and knowledge are your blessings to me, but most importantly, the compassion and empathy I have for those in need of help. Maraming bagay ang kaya kong gawin dahil marami din po kayo ipinagalob sa akin. At naniniwala po ako na isa itong biyaya at isang misyon na magtatawid sa inyo at sa mga nangangailangan. Ibinabalik ko lamang po sa inyo ang lahat na ipinagaloob at, pit- at ipinahiram niyo po sa akin. Today, fellow graduates, we honor our achievements and celebrate success. And tomorrow, we start a new. And whatever path we tread, Let us not forget that we have always been at our best, and we should maximize these skill sets to the fullest. Graduating batch of 2021, always remember to yield success at our worst and not our best. 
we may encounter failure a lot and thousands of times. But if we reap success after those attempts, it will certainly be the best. During this pandemic, we all encountered hardships, yet we overcame and conquered these hurdles. I'm definitely proud of all of us, my regals. Again, this is Jerome Justin Olillo Salazar, a proud graduate of the Senior High School for saying, through determination, passion, and humility, I have won my fight. Thank you and a blessed afternoon. Thank you, Mr. Sessler. Those words will be the legal mark on your fellow graduates. Batch 2021 will now declare the pledge of loyalty to their dear alumni. To lead the class is another student who garnered high honors, Ms. Lisa Kathleen Denise C. Navarro. Graduates, please raise your right hand and repeat after me. We solemnly swear that we shall forever keep alive our love and loyalty to our alma mater, Divine Light Academy. We promise to remain faithful to her teachings and ideals and her desire that we may become worthy citizens of this nation. We shall take this oath to unceasingly hold ever so highly the Divine Light ideals for the triumph of the good and the just, to be true bearers of light always, for love of our fellow men, concern for our country, and reverence and obedience to God. Graduation also marks the graduates in this to an elite organization, the Alumni Association of Divine Light Academy. And to become a full-fledged member, you have to declare an oath to officiate the formal induction of batch 2021 submission to the Alumni Association by a call and an alumna himself, Engineer Nathaniel Casillian. Graduates, please raise your right hand and recite with me. I, please state your name, do solemnly pledge that I will faithfully and conscientiously fulfill my duties and obligations as a graduate of Divine Light Academy and adhere to the goals and ideals of the institution it stands for, imbued by the true spirit of its mission and vision, I solemnly swear to commit myself to the highest standards of service to humanity and contribute to the perpetuation of the values of a child of light and bearer of light. I will do my best to bring honor and recognition to my alma mater by upholding and practicing the virtues of an ideal DLA graduate. So help me God. Thank you, Mr. At this point, let's take a stroll down memory. Friends, let's join the graduates as they reminisce the proceeding of high school.
What do you see when you look around? Are you looking for memories lost and found? And what do you see when you close your eyes? And remember the best days of our lives? Well, I see colors. Teachings will guide me through as they bring light to all 
marks and glories, milestone in your life, graduates. On behalf of the LA administration, faculty, and staff, I wish you all the best as you leave this institution. May you make wise decisions and have a great success. Enjoy college life. Walk as children of God. God bless.